Yes, in 2022, there are still black people enslaved in chains picking cotton. It's here, okay? The Nazis are here. We're in the fascist country. It exists. This is happening right now. Joe Biden is the leader. Fascism ain't good for me and my people. <laughs> They're gonna put us in work camps. We've, we're kind of paying attention a little too late when it comes to the electoral stuff to make enough difference to like kind of protect ourselves in a non, uh, in a electoral way. Like we're getting to the point where it's like, well, I'm sorry guys, but you waited too long to want to liberate yourself. So now you're probably going to have to do revolution. You're not going to be able to like reform or like elect someone because um, at the rate we're going, which will get us into our next topic, but at the rate we're going, uh, we won't just be a foundationally fascist country. We will be a outright expressing it in Nazi ways fascist country within the next 10 years. It's already here, to be honest. Um, that is, that's the title of today's topic. Like, we keep saying fascism is coming. Fascism is here. It's always been here. It never left. <laughs> like, it, like, never left. The difference now is that we had gotten the more... What's the word? Apparent, the more blatant fascism out as much as we could <laughs> out of the politics, out of the mainstream over the last decades, even though it was still rooted in the DNA. Okay, it's still rooted in the DNA of country. And now people, you know, think there's this resurgency going. And it, it's not really a resurgency. It's almost like, it's almost like, you know, like people, we all have, like, I've heard this may not be an effectual thing, but I've heard this, so it's, I'll use it as an analogy. We all have like cancer cells in our body, right? but it's whether they're allowed to give in the right environment to grow and spread. And like, we've always been a, fa a fascist country, right? We're foundationally, like the constitution is fascist. <laughs> like it was only written like white males who own land slaves. There's been times where we've had growths. We've had fascist cancerous growths. Right? And then we've, you know, done biopsy and got them back down under control. Well, right now we have a serious growth and like this one, I, I, it may be inoperable <laughs> or we may have to do like the full chemo because the casualness in which even someone like um, uh, Philip DeFranco is talking about the fascism in our country that already exists, like book burnings that are happening, the banning of teaching Holocaust and civil rights and any uh, uh, queer sexuality, any of that, right? That's happening in more states than it's not. I don't think people realize that. Okay, there's 50 states. This is happening in like 34. Uh -huh. Okay. The way Philip DeFranco was talking about it, it's like, yeah, this is really concerning and reminds me of that little bit of history I remember from World War II. And I'm like, no, that's not enough. That, that, that's, literally, that's literally how the papers wrote about the book burnings in, in, before World War II or even before World War I, maybe too. Like, as this was... Do you guys not see what I'm saying? Like, we're, it's here. They're burning the books. They're writing laws to protect white people, okay? They're writing more laws to keep us out of voting, okay? It's here, okay? The Nazis are here. We're in the fascist country. It exists. This is happening right now. Joe Biden is the leader. I really want people to wake the fuck up because, because like I mentioned before, fascism ain't good for me and my people. <laughs> Like, and I say this to say, based on history and based on what our colonizers know of, of history, okay, black people, we're not, we're not going to be mass slaughtered like other races, maybe. Um, and <laughs> Latino people, I'm talking to you too. Okay, we're, we're not. We're not, they're gonna put us in work camps. They're gonna put us in work camps, okay? So if you're, if Nazis come, not if Nazis come back, when, when the Nazis actually wear their uniforms, um, because they're already here in our government elected, okay? 
when they decide to actually wear their uniforms and actually be more bold, um, uh, out more bold, more bold than they're already being about what's going on, probably when they have a little bit more power and control. Uh, by the way, they only need like four more states before they can uh, rewrite the constitution to make this a completely anarcho-capitalist uh, fucking country, uh, which is what a lot, of, uh, a lot of the fascists want. It's already here. It's already here. Okay. And they, they're going to do the camps. The camps are already here. They're already doing it. Okay. Work camps are already here. We already have millions of people that are in prison and in slavery working for free. Okay. Or pennies. There are still black people in Texas that pick cotton for free. Is that not an imagery? That should shock you to the motherfucking core in 2022. What, bitch? No. What? Yes. Yes. In 2022, there are still black people enslaved and chains picking cotton in Texas. Also in probably some other southern, southern states. Wake the fuck up. This is already happening. It's been happening and it's on an accelerated course right now. OK, and if you're an indigenous person, a person of color um, or you are someone who is Jewish, you should wake the fuck up. There are certain of those demographics. You're right. They're going to mass slaughter. Or they may just torture to death. But the able bodies, of black and Latino people. We be working. We're going to be working. I don't want to die in a work camp. Thank you very much. I don't want to be having to take the underground railroad to fucking Canada to make it to Germany to save myself from fucking the Nazis that have risen up in America. And I just, I just don't understand why nobody is saying the truth, just like with everything else. It's so goddamn frustrating. This is the only reason why INTJs actually even leave their fucking bunker and hole uh, as an introvert to come out here, fucking dress up, put makeup on, and talk to y'all people. Because we look at the room, we go, holy, why is no one saying the truth? If no one can say the truth, we're all gonna die if someone doesn't say it. Fuck it. No one can say the truth. Fine, let me put my jacket on. Fine, I'll fucking do it. Let me go do it. We don't, we, leadership is not where we typically even want to be, okay? We're always reluctant leaders. But why are we not talking about this every single fucking day? I wake up every day like, oh. okay, they're not coming for me today, but like, I'm having, like, I'm having nightmares. People are going, oh, you're, a, I'm not alarmist, bitch, okay? I'm informed and you're not. Whether they round us up and slaughter us or put me in a work camp, neither one sounds good. We've always been fascists. The Nazis are already here. Are we going to wake the fuck up? Because, world, uh, because the Holocaust happened because good men did nothing. Because people came, came on to their YouTube channels and said and and said things like, "Wow, these book burnings. We should really look out for that." And then did nothing; just went back to their lives. That's how the Holocaust happened. Actually, that's how a lot of genocides happen. So I'm doing something. I'm just waiting for a lot of the other masses of you, so you can speak to audiences that aren't going to speak that you know aren't going to listen to me. To be concerned. My guest is here. So maybe rant over, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, what was then? Oh yeah, the Nazis. <laughs> oh yeah, uh American fascism. Yeah, so I just wish we'd talk about this more. I just think that um a lot of good allies who probably either aren't aware enough or like, oh, that could never happen, are gonna get a rude awakening. You're gonna get a rude awakening when some of their neighbors start getting round up in the next 10 years. Or solder, just in the street. State sanctioned violence by the police. Somebody mentioned in one of my TikTok comments that like uh, the masses would think they were they would be crazy to be able to protect themselves against the military. Number one, I'm not concerned about the military. The military 
people in the military, one, uh, not the people at the top, they're corrupt fucking bastards. And I don't necessarily condone the military. I fucking hate the military. I'm an anti-imperialist. But I think there's a lot of people that are in the military that can be reformed, <laughs> um, uh, if not radicalized already. I think there's some people in the military that feel like they don't have another option um, and now that they've been... Uh, uh, look, Afghanistan didn't go well, okay? Um, we have a lot of retired military that aren't a big fan of what the fuck this government is. Uh, the military's loyalty is to the people, not the state, okay? I'm not worried about the military when it comes to revolution. I'm worried about the police. The police are the ones who have been paid for over a hundred years to murder us. They're the ones that can look at us and murder us, even though we look like them and speak the same language and live in their cities. The military goes overseas to murder brown people that speak a different language in a completely different environment. And this is not empathizing, sympathizing. I'm not trying to belittle what's going on. I'm just talking about the psychology of, mili of the soldiers. It's not the same psychology uh, as when they're going to, uh, you know, if the state sent them uh, to just assassinate citizens. Now, I know people be like, what about Oregon? I'm not saying they won't. I'm just saying Oregon is, actually, Oregon's not a good, good scenario because in the scenario I'm talking about, there's uprisings like like Oregon. What happened in Oregon in 2020 would be happening in every city across the country. So like they don't have the resources for that. <laughs> My expectation for revolution is a war of attrition. It's going to be who's going to last the longest. Will the state continue to have people to uh, to force to do their violence, or will the masses outlast them? I believe the masses will outlast them. Because I think we're smarter than they are. So fascism is here. I don't, if you're coming to me and being like, what do we do? I don't know exactly. Um, I know we should probably get together and talk about it so I can see what other people think we should do about it. Right now, I just, you know, I try, I don't leave my house alone. <laughs> I try not to leave my house alone. Uh, I try to stay in, in places that are safe and I try to keep informed about what the fuck is going on in the world. Fascism is already here. And I need people to wake the fuck up, particularly white leftists. Shut the fuck up. Stop arguing about stupid shit, okay? Fuck the CPUSA. Fascism. Nazis. Get on our fucking team. Stop being racist fuckholes and let's deal with this problem. One last little thing I will add. I do think there is a demographic of white leftists that aren't going to risk much to deal with this problem. Because like I like in Nazi Germany, like what I said earlier, good men do nothing. <laughs> um, there are people who don't want to, well, I don't, I don't want to risk myself. Da, 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 da. And when you are white, per, you know, when you're white presenting, white passing, when you're white um, and, and Nazis come back, you can do nothing. You can you can stay in the middle, go along with the flow, and maybe get through it. And I think it's fucked up. But I think that's a plan B for a lot of white leftists. It's like, oh, well, if my life's on the line or my family's life on the, is on the line, I have the right skin tone to flip teams to save my life. And that's why maybe it's not as urgent to you. Hard pill to swallow, but <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> you need some. You need. You need. You need. Swallow it. I am someone who is always someone who is going to point out the truth. I'm a truth teller. That is my role in society, in life. That's my personality. Now, how adamant, <laughs> how fervent, how driven I'm going to be to advocate that depends on how important it is. And unfortunately for, I'm going to say for everyone, <laughs> um, right now I have figured out that like the planet's going to die and that humans are going to, not the planet's going to die. I keep, I got to re keep rephrasing that because the planet's going to be fine. The environment, we're killing the environment um, and humans are going to go extinct within the next 40 years. 
And that sounds pretty devastating. I wanted more than 40 years. And also I want to emphasize that doesn't mean that everyone's going to get 40 years. Okay. Extinction is not going to just happen overnight. Okay. That means for the next 40 years are going to be horrific. Maybe some of the most horrific times to live on the earth. So a lot of you guys won't make it 40 years. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So you can't be like, oh, well, Pasha, we'll have 40 years. I'll just, you know, that'll make it, I'll make it to 70. So that's fine. Mm, no, <laughs> that's not what's going to happen. And now since like my, you know, my life is tied to that, literally my physical life <laughs> um, and, and my life's work is now tied to that, I'm going to be pretty blunt and pretty much and try to say the things that people aren't saying because I think we're all uh, really sick of being lied to and gaslit and all of the other things this narcissistic country has done to us. I can see the matrix. I can see the lines in the code in the system. And we need to start pointing it out because I think a lot of other people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. I live in a free society. And you don't. I don't want the person who pulls your hands off your eyes to be hailing Hitler. I don't. I do not want that for you. I'm literally a communist. Says modes of production. Go, what are you waiting for? Do it! Please give us the courage to pry modes of production from greedy hands of capitalists before they destroy entire Earth.